Hey, it's Amy from White Lace Cottage. How are you doing today? We are going to talk about decorating shabby chic style. Now, I've heard some people say that shabby chic style is out. All I have to say about that is talk to Rachel Ashwell. I think she knows what she's doing. She's built an empire on shabby chic style, so that's all I'm going to say. Plus, way before shabby chic style was called shabby chic, I like that style, so what else? Anyway, let's talk about shabby chic style and how to incorporate it in your house and what is shabby chic style. Shabby chic style is chippy pieces, I mean pieces that you find at a flea market. That's like, that's iconic for shabby chic style. It doesn't all have to be white. It's preferably that you find pieces that are really truly authentic, although it is hard to find. I do have some pieces and I'll show you those right here. Aren't those cool? Those are not easy pieces to find, to let me tell you. I cheat sometimes and I create my own shabby chic vintage chippy pieces. Um, oh, so let's take a look at what those look like. think. So furniture is like the key to your room. You want to make sure that your walls are painted white. Mine, and I know a lot of people say that white walls are boring and I totally disagree. The great thing about having a white wall or white walls as your base coat or your base for your room or the backdrop for your room, you can add any colors that you want. Any color at all you can add into a white room. That's how you have to think of it. You have to think of it as your pink color is the backdrop for your wall. Boring! Walls are great because they're the backdrop for your room. So just remember that. White walls, backdrop for your room. Furniture is key to your room. That's it. You want to pick really gorgeous pieces. You want to have slip covered furniture. You want to have, um, obviously you need a place to sit. So you need sofas or a sofa and chairs. You need to have a couple tables in there. You just don't want to clutter a room with a bunch of furniture that doesn't make any sense. Chic style, don't want to go too crazy on the tchotchkes. So you want to decorate, and this is what I do. I use pieces in my house that I can reuse for, for other pieces, like decorative and it's useful. That's the key, decorative and useful. Ironstone pictures are great because they're pretty whether you have flowers in them or not, and they can be used for flowers. You can use it in a kitchen and put your utensils in. If you have a small one, you could even use it on a desk to put pens and scissors in. It's useful and they're decorative. So that's what you have to think about things when you're decorating, useful and decorative. Books are great because you can read them and they look nice on a coffee table. So think about that when you're decorating shabby chic style. You wanna make sure that you have the key pieces are your furniture, and the white walls are the backdrop. Curtains should be really light. You can do some floral patterns, but I think the really soft, muted colors look, look the best. Thinking of shabby chic style, you really want to keep your, your walls white, and then you just accentuate with accents everywhere. Really, shabby chic style is a little bit modern in a way because you you don't have a lot of clutter really you just have your furniture your white walls um and uh, you know accessories that are things that you can repurpose and reuse as a, things like that um a, a basket that you could use to store blankets in but then it looks nice too just always think of that always think of you know you want to be as minimalistic as possible when you're doing shabby chic you don't want to have tchotchkes everywhere. That's not shabby chic. Shabby chic is a little cleaner looking. Cleaner looking and really think about each piece that you want to put in a room. Think about that because all those pieces are going to make an impact in your room and you're not going to want a lot of stuff because you want people to walk in and think, wow, that table is amazing because your, your eye is like focused on that instead of all the stuff that you have everywhere else in the room. It's going to focus on that. That's just not over the top too much stuff. 
And that's it today. That's all I wanted to talk about. I wanted to share Shabby Chic style. So much for joining me. Have a great day. Oh, and make sure you follow this channel and follow on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Google Plus and Pinterest. I'll put the links below. Oh, and make sure you check out the blog. And before you leave, I'm going to share some more Shabby Chic inspired photos for you. See ya. Here you go.